Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to smile today because today's title is shame. And it's an honor to, to say to the Lord that please dismiss this, my shame and guilt. Because the deep memories of hurt, it's time to say, knock on the door and say, Lord, I'm sorry for giving me my sins. And it's an honor to, to just let it go. And also not to be misled. To know that the level of shame can build up and build up in the development. And knowing that God is, can change us and the will that we have. And he's going to hold your hand. It's like an arm of protection over you. And today is for a new path to know that. Shame is real, guilt is real, but I don't want to hold it no more. Knowing that you can have a, um, you can be forgiven for your mistakes, and also don't want to harvest that anymore, be misled towards that, to keep it. Meaning that people think that you you have to hold that shame as a badge of honor. Don't be misled knowing that that's not the truth. You can let it go. The truth is, God is real. God is a forgiving God. God is a arms around you God God is a friendly God God is a fearing God and I do fear the Lord and I do respect the Lord and it's time for change this season and I, I was led today the Lord is telling me shame and this topic is very deep and but we cannot be misled towards it and not be a fool to know that change is there and that's it's time to renew our our season this morning and I'm really excited to let it go because it's, I just want to just sweep off my shoulder, sweep off my shoulder and just cleanse my neck and just say, Lord, hallelujah. Yesterday was in the path. Yesterday path was there. And today is a new season. Today I'm going to wake up, remove my anger, remove that wall that I punched in yesterday, removing people who are talking about me. People are talking about me. I'm going to move that shame, meaning that. I may not fit in in a group. I may feel alone. I have shamed of anger and so on and so forth. That that guilt, that emotion, that everything that's built up. You're just so angry this season. You're so sad this season. You're just going through just doing things to cover it, to mask it. Do not put that mask on today. Today is a walking with me talking about shame and guilt we gotta talk about it because sometimes people some families don't talk about this sometimes things have to be just sweep underneath the rug or in the closet or people call it dirty laundry type of thing people don't want to be ratted out but we just need to talk because a year is total uh, confident and there's no condemnation in your past but today is a new day and i'm ready to hold your hand and I have to be obedient to God to get this work out to understand what is shame. Before we get into that, I want to pray with me this morning. Because I don't want to be misled. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, because you are winning today. The Lord is winning for us. The passion that we have for God, that we have to trust in and believe. So, Lord, I have shame. But, Lord, build that wall for me to have guidance, oh, Lord. Build those stepping stones. Build that bridge, oh, Lord. Bring that strong will that you have, my Lord. That the will that we have on this world that with so much shame, Lord, is overwhelmed, my Lord. I just need help. I don't want to go down the path that I have. I'm feeling so much deep hurt, and I just want to swoop it off my shoulders this morning, my Lord. I want to feel independence in Christ. I haven't talked to anybody. I've been just pimped up stuff in my body, my Lord. It's all around me. My lifestyle is not where I want. People don't want to be around me because they're ashamed of me. They don't want to, My family doesn't want to talk to me because of what I have done before. Even if I haven't been around, but I tried, but yet they talk and laugh at me, and I feel guilty because I I miss my child's birthday. I I talked about people. I feel alone. I feel like I don't fit into that party. You know, it's just so much anger, so much sad, so much loans. My Lord, please heal me, and I'm ready to let go. Please, Lord, I don't want to be misled from the sh the, f the sheep, my Lord, the sheep flock that you are in our group, because you are our shepherd, my Lord, and our, sh and our children hear the Lord's voice, and the sheep hear the Lord's voice, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whatever 
and darkness will come to light for God. And Lord, the passion that I have, the, the passion that you have for your children, oh Lord, you are winning, you are in control, Lord. The development that needs to be heard, please, Lord, hear, and you're winning, oh God. I'm ready to develop and ready to hear. Thank you, Lord, for everything you do, Lord. Thank you, Lord, whatever's locked up in here. Lord, I want to knock on that door with me, oh God. Please listen. I'm ready to let it go. I'm ready to let go of my sh my hurt and my sin and my, and my shame and to have a better tomorrow, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for today is a beautiful day, and I pray this daily, Lord. I'm hurt. And I'm ashamed and I'm alone, but I'm not alone because you hear me. My friends are here on YouTube. Thank you, Lord. I'm ready to let it go. I'm ready to knock on that door of salvation, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, my Lord. And I'm ready for the newness and the news of what you, my path is awake for me. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready to knock on that door. <laughs> praise you, oh God. I'm ready to praise you, my Lord. I'm ready to praise you. I'm ready to knock on that door, to knock on on that door of newness and passion, Lord, that I want to give you, oh God. That deep memories, Lord, I'm ready to lock it, my Lord. To knock on the door, I said, Lord, please change me. Take it away, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, my Lord, that I'm not a fool. I'm not misled because I trust in your word of God. I thank you, Jesus, and I praise you, my Lord, for the development. And I'm hunger, Lord, hunger in me, Lord. I pray to you, my Lord, because I want to have to live and development, Lord, and, and remove the shame and, and guilt that I'm having today. I wipe off my shoulders. I wipe off my house, my Lord. Whatever's around me, Lord, take it out. Whatever the demons and spirits that's around, because the devil is a liar, my Lord, I'm not alone because you are with me to hold my hand. I give you full praise, and you're proud of me. Thank you, Lord, that you're allowing me to develop and praise in me, meaning that you, when you praise a child, you're clapping. God is going to give you praise, meaning that he's proud of you for the seeking out and he will do the rest you just got to keep on praying every single day for development in jesus name we pray amen i'm so happy to say that the development or when god's gonna rise in today's video and i love when me that he's gonna just allow it all the flow just take a deep breath this morning because today is a new day and let's give god a good 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 praise this morning. You know, when I say praise, when God gives you praise, meaning that it's like when you, it's, it's, it's a word meaning that when a, a parent is clapping for you, God is clapping for you, God is rooting for you, God is fighting your battles, God is building up those walls of protection, and God is here for you. We got, God can do whatever he wants to do. You know, there's no one like him. I'm so excited that I'm going to give God full praise. It's like you're just rooting for your child. You're just rooting to pray for God. I'm just, I'm team Jesus today because God is in control. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. I know it's eight minutes, but we got to give God full praise today because we got to give shining. We got to just, just keep on going. The level, God's going to level in me. God's going to love in our lives, in our house, in our children's lives. And we're not going to be misled on the word today because we got to just shine. Because this topic is, is someone this needs, I need it, you need it, everybody needs it today. Because everybody's facing this. Everybody has things in their past. If everybody has things that sweep underneath the wall. Sometimes we forget about, like, past hurt. And God will allow darkness to come into light. So let's get into the word. Let's define this shame. Let's build up the prayer. Let's build up the, the um, extra Bible notes and get into Jeremiah um, Proverbs 22 this morning. Because we need this word to go in. So shame is defined as an unpleasant, self-cautious um, emotion. Typically associated with a negative elevation of self-withdrawal emotion. Um, feelings of distress. Explosion, explosion and mistrust, powerlessness and worthlessness. Mm. Something we can feel unworthy, we can feel powerless, we can feel shame, we can feel mistrust, we can feel like we're not welcome, we can feel like, what did I do? It's really, it's really, it's, it's, it's all those things. And I found on HuffPuff.com, um, I was like, okay, how can I develop to be to make sure this video has a little sugar in the tea. Um, I said, how do you feel shame? Shame is the feeling that those in someone basically wrong with you. The feeling of guilt is about doing something wrong 
whether shame is about being wrong at the core inside the feeling of shame comes from like the belief that i am basically flawless inadequate wrong bad unimportant and undeserving or not good like you feel like i'm not good and oh good enough good enough like i was about to say it's like you feel like you're not good enough um I'm going to share one quick dream that um, the Lord has been telling me a while back last year, in 2019, I have to get used to saying 2020, 2019, the Lord said to me, he told me to talk about shame a long time ago. I know I talked about shame maybe one or two times on this channel, but the Lord has been telling me to go to New York City. Just recently, he showed me another dream, like maybe a month ago, like four or five weeks ago, that I went to New York City. And my mother's side of the family, they really don't really engage with us, but they talk to us on the phone here and there. But we used to go all the time. Um, they don't want to talk to me or around my family. But so the Lord showed me a dream how my cousins were all grouped up together. And I sat alone while my, my mother's sisters and brothers were all over there, my grandmother on the other side. But I just sat in the middle. It's like how my mother felt when she goes and I was sitting in her space. Only one cousin got up. And my cousin Shaliqua got up and said, hey, how are you? She's always been that way. She's always been quiet because she didn't want to um, not disrespect her sister or call her sisters out. But she just left them and just asked us, okay, the Lord showed me that you at least you have one cousin. And it's like all my life, I was like, Lord, they're ashamed of us. They're ashamed of us because we don't act like them um shame that my mother was always the, the lone wolf of the family and that she fell alone and that you know so therefore they they the belief of that they're ashamed of us and that they don't want to be a part of us they laugh at us we don't fit the topic of their family and so they don't acknowledge us and so i just as we're growing up we we felt we kids know when you're not welcome so therefore that's another topic so i just thought to add that in and so i've been dealing with that and i said lord when i go to new york to give me strength because lord it's a lot of guilt it's a lot of shame it's a lot of past hurt in in the, in the logan family and um in the hall family also um god brings darkness into light and god's saying no more of that it's time for you to set your place in your family even if it's um oh day it's it's just you know god said go to new york city and i have to be obedient to god and i'm not going to be misled with that and so i've been feeling that in my heart i said lord i, I kind of hesitate I, a year after year after year after year i feel i feel like that nervousness that stressness comes in because it's like I don't want to not welcome my siblings to go, and I want to be able to knock on that door and go because it's like the shame of like, Lord, well, they're not going to talk to us. It's a shame they're going to laugh at us. It's like those back of my head memories of going there and being isolated. I hated that, but I'm going. I'm I'm 27. I'm grown, and I'm going to go, and I'm I'm not going to have any shame in that, and uh. We all, we all have stories, and I'm not going to go backwards. I'm not going to be misled on the enemy trying to bring in old topics and me feeling like that nervousness and anxiety and stuff like that, you know, feeling I'm not good enough to be a part of that family, uh, feeling unimportant and adequate and wrong, like I did something. I didn't do nothing. But unfortunately, people have bias and standards, and they just want to, they just all want to repeat each other like they're little parents that the lord told me that they like to mimic each other you know like it's like one line it's like they all have one run wine and they're just gonna just go with that so you guys please um keep praying knowing that god is with you and we're all gonna overcome so with that i have a, a prayer called overcoming shame prayer this is on crosswalk.com very, very short, very engaging. It says, God, this tiny, God, these tiny little prayers feels like um, cheating. Does what even count? Yes, I know they are due to help me come back to those feeling ashamed by speaking truth, by offering up the small prayers of surrender 
as I can and trusting they are enough. Give me the freedom from the shame I am feeling. Fix me. My thoughts on you, not on my past, my failures and hurt. Give me eye to see you. Goodness, amen. That was a little unique one, but I felt it was something different. And I'm glad I was able to share. <sighs> Take a deep breath with me. And um, I'd like to connect with you guys. <sighs> and I just like to just be myself and be very clever. And I'm thankful that the Lord's allowed me to talk about this because we we got to let it's a good day. Today's a good day and I don't want to have no more shame. I just wanted to enjoy my life. I'm still young and I was saying, Lord, I was like, Wow, life is just going by so quickly. And I was just saying to the Lord that last night and I just feel like I missed a lot in my twenties, but I have no shame. I'm helping my family. I said, Lord, I just basically just dedicated myself helping my mom, my sisters, my brothers. But that's what God was calling me to do was help your family and my dad and I have no shame and I'm and God is win winning and I said to the Lord that I can't leave my family behind. You know, most people will leave. But I just it just I said, Lord, before I went to bed last night and I said, Lord Imagine me just leaving my family behind, and I could have just got so many different things, and and just imagine my development, and they were stuck and not developing their salvation. And this year is such a breakthrough for my family, and I just see the growth. And God said He's He's so proud of my household, and He's making it better. And I'm just so excited because everybody's praying more, knowing that their salvation and healing is not so much on me, meaning that I'm not like I'm the superhero of the family, but I'm just happy that everybody's helping each other as a unit. You know, we have such a big family. Mom has six kids, and but has different unique personalities. My mother defines it, but we give all glory back onto God. And everybody's just saying, hey, everybody's talking. When you have a family to talk and develop, and you're taking that hurt. And we're not misled. And, and no one's going different ways and different directions. Everybody's just on one note. So I'm praying for you guys that keep praying for your family. Keep praying. I know you can't help everybody, but just sometimes I just had to walk away from my family. And it's new. And I'm really, really excited this season for, for everybody. I'm excited for my YouTube channel. I'm excited for new topics. I'm excited about new season. I'm excited about everything God is leading our everybody's channel together. So we're all Team Jesus this 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 um this season. That's, I just wanted to give you guys a, a a season praise report on my family. And I know when I first started YouTube, it was I was crying. Um, my mom was uh, in the hospital. I felt ashamed because I couldn't go to work and I couldn't live my life. But now it, it's getting out there and it's a level of development. And I'm so excited because, you know, everything is not perfect. We're living day by day, paycheck by paycheck, but we're just enjoying life and i'm just excited to just smile this season and peace be with you guys in your in your household and prosperity this season <sighs> i'm so excited and just freedom in god i'm so excited to just serve him and just help my family and help you guys with the word and i'm gonna read today's topic i just gotta just take a deep breath because i was just saying lord I don't know what direction I want to go now, you know. I just feel like I don't know what to do, but this is where God wants me to be and just talk and speak and deliverance and be myself and let go and develop with you guys. And you guys are my friends and I'm not alone. So you guys, with that, God is winning. Let's read the word of God. We're going to read um, 2 Corinthians 4 too. But we have renounce the hidden things of shame not walking in um craftiness or handling with the word of god differently um definitely uh i cannot pronounce this word forgive me but the manifestation of the tr truth commanding ourselves and every man's accomplished in the sight of god excuse me for you guys for mispronunciation so please Check out 2 Corinthians 4 2. I had another one. Um, 
I like to save my note cards, so I like to um, write on one side. So usually I write three on them. Hmm. I can't seem to find that other note card. Uh, it's okay. So um, we have Isaiah 54, um, 4. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed, neither be disgraced. For the will not be put to shame, for you will forget the shame for your youth, and will not remember the reproach of the world war anymore. Isaiah 54, 4. You guys got to believe in God. Believe in God for change. Believe in God for healing. Um, found it. Believe in God for trust. As he knows what he's doing. I want to go on God's team because I don't want to go on a losing team. God is winning. So if God's going to get me out of this, this this hurdle, I am going to go on Team Jesus' side. I'm so very excited. And God is winning. So with that said, let's go on that scene. So we have um, Proverbs 12, 2. Looking into Jesus, the author and the finisher. I love that. He's the author of the, the finish. He is the he's the beginning and the end and, and everlasting. Oh, that's so cool! Whoa, T Jesus. Okay, Proverbs, um, Hebrews twelve two. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher, our faith, who is the joy that was set before his endure in the cross and des despairing in the shame, and has sat. Down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Ooh, so please check out uh, pro, um, Hebrews 12, 2. Um, please read um, Isaiah um, 54, 2 and Corinthians 2, I believe I wrote. See, I messed up my note cards, but it's okay. Ah, I just feel so much freer, like a a feather when you let things go you're just letting all the guilt the, the, the shame path when you give it all to god it's like the re the refresh button especially when you mean it when you court so excited so excited and that's our last our last our last part of the day yeah bye raven enjoy the dentist Love you. Okay, bye, Mila, Mila. Tell mom I'll be down in a few minutes. Tell mom I'll be down in a few minutes. I'm just doing my video. My family. All right, let's get into the word of God. We have Proverbs 22. Oh, God. Oh, excuse me. Oh, good name is rather be cho chosen than greater riches. And loving favor rather than silver and gold the rich and poor meet together the lord is maker of all them the prudent men foresee the evil and hinder themselves but the simple pass on are punished by humility and the fear of the lord are rich in humor and life the throne of sneers are the ways of the forward he and adults keep the soul shall be fair from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and with the old he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower the servant and the le leader. He that soweth in quarrel shall reap vanity, and the raw and his anger shall fail. Thank you, Lord. With, remember I mentioned that I was supposed to go to New York and my family didn't want to um, talk to me. And the Lord just said, I have to be strong with that. I have to be strong this season because I have to be obedient. And also people cannot dictate what God has set before me. And I have a right to go into my family, my head up high. And I have to look for the memories in my family. And I'm going to still stick with my, 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 my siblings. But also I would like to just... Um, go to that more closure so we're gonna read um where i left off on verse um eight he that soweth in quarreling shall reap vanity and the rod of the anger shall fail 
He that hath the beautiful eye shall be blessed, or the giveth in the breed of the poor. Cast out the snarls, and the contention shall go out. Ye sniffed, and the report shall cast. He that always pursued the heart of the grace, and the lips king shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord um, prevents the knowledge, and he over knoweth the word of the transgressor. The salt of men saith, and the lying without I shall be strained in the, sh sh the streets. The, m the m mouth of the strange woman in deep pit, and the mouth of the strange woman in deep pit, and he that a borrow, a borrow, a borrow of the Lord shall fail within. The foolish is bound to the heart of the child, the rod of Correction shall drive it far from him. That's deep. That's like a deep opinion right there, you know? Um, all I can say that, um, you know, deep memories of worth is there. And also the, the word that we just got to know that his word is powerful. That's deep right there. Uh, verse 15, um, 15, the foolish the bound in the heart of the child, the rod of the correction it shall deepen and far from him. And he that opposes the poor increase his riches, and the growth in the rich and shall surely come from want. Bow down thy ears in the the ears of the word of the wise, uh, apply the, thy heart unto my knowledge, and it is the uh, present things, and thy keep them within thee. They shall wither in the feather in the lips, and they trust may be in the Lord. I have made known thee the day even thy. Have not I written in the excellent things and oxfuls in the knowledge that I might make the note and it certainly in the word of the truth and thus mighty answer and the word truth to them and the sent unto thee. The rod not of the poor, because he is poor, neither oppose Authentic in the gate, the Lord is to plead thy case and soil the soul, the soul of those who spoil them. Make no friend, friendship into anger means of the fairy man thus shall not go. Let thus learn the ways and get the sneer of the soul. But not thus one of those that sn sneak. Strike hands, or them that are surety of the dead. If there has nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? Remove not the accident, accident, accident landmark, which else ancient landmark. Thank you, Lord. Which thy father have set. Seeth. Thus the man diligent in the business, he shall stand before kings, and sh he shall not stand before <laughs> mean men. Hmm. We all have to be very patient with one another. Um, knowing that we all have to have patience in man. Um, today is a brand new day. It begins with the Lord's word. And prayers and also knowing that we have to just squish up the shame, squish up the shame and guilt, and clap it off and dust it off, wipe it off our neck and give it on to God, lay it at his feet, keep knocking on that door and he will answer and whatever the darkness shall come to light and also um, keep giving passion onto your dreams, do not be fooled, do not be misled, knowing that Yes, there's deep memories and things. The word of God's word is deep. So we all have to not be ashamed and just keep on going forward. And let's encourage our brothers and sisters not to judge. And pray for one another because that's powerful when two more come together. And also just give joy. Pump someone up this morning. Just say, hello, how are you? Even just simple. Do not be afraid. To just Even if you don't want to speak a word, just say it. Good morning, Jesus loves you, or how are you? Simple words, or just hi. So if you are just not talkers, I'm a talker. Just a little bit, I get a little shy. But the presence is in the day. And Lord, please bless me, please bless you. And, and just bless someone to share this word today. 
and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please like, share, comment, and pray, and subscribe, and love is all, all around. Let's connect one heart to be one heart to another heart, and that's our day. Okay, bye.